Hello, amazing people. How you are doing? It's your girl Esther. Has been your week. So last week was um International Women's Day. That's the eighth of March. It's International Women's Day, and I was supposed to do this video, but I was so busy I couldn't do it. But nevertheless, as the saying goes, better late than never. So today I want to be sharing some strength of a woman, some strength of a woman in the 21st century. Nothing has really changed. It's just that we need to keep relearning, keep hearing some things over and over again in order to become better women that God has called us to be. So number one strength of a woman is dress well. Dress the way you need to be addressed. Dress the way you want people to address you. Always show up playing the part of what you represent. Even if you are going to places as, as easy as the grocery store, you don't have to wear your best. Just put on something nice, clean your face, put up some little earrings. As women, we can't kind of emphasize this, dressing is the key. Before you open your mouth to talk to anybody, before anybody wants to know what you have upstairs there, they need to see your dressing. And we know that some people do look down on people. So that's why in this 21st century, we need to start changing and rewriting the story. So as a strong woman, as a woman of strength, a woman of grace, dress the way you want to be addressed. That's number one. And I don't mean you going to rob the bank. Just look neat. If you have two shirts, show up and look neat. That's number one. Dress the way you want to be addressed. Number two, it's okay to cry. We've had it over and over and again that women don't, women don't cry. You don't have to cry. Big girls don't cry. It's a lie. Big girls do cry. As a matter of fact, crying is therapeutic so if you need to cry 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 but the most important thing is that you don't cry and you don't stand up as a woman in this 21st century if you need to cry cry if somebody hurts you if you feel so bad cry if you can discuss it with the person fine discuss it with the person if you cannot discuss it with the person you know how to say time heals all wounds time will heal the wounds and you move on if it's a relationship you can continue keeping you keep it if it's the one you can't continue keeping Sometimes you need to love some people from afar. That's number two. Number one, you need to dress well. Number two, it's okay to cry. Number three, have a strong support system. We all know that you can't go far if you don't have a strong support system. You have to have a strong support system in the home. You should be able to balance your children, your husband with whatever you do. Have a strong support system. Have friends that you can call to help you. Have friends that you can call. If you need something, you are not a superwoman. Sometimes we, they've made us carry this to carry this cape. You know this um, superman or superwoman cape. We need to tear those cape. You are not a superwoman. I'm not a superwoman. If you need help, cry out. If I need help, of course my friends know. I'm going to call you. Oh girl, can you do this for me? If you can, fine. If you can do it, oh, I'm super grateful. So as a woman, you need to have a strong support system, both at home, at work, and with your friends. Always ask for support if you need it. That's number three. Number four, you need to love yourself. And when we say love yourself, we're not talking about this selfish love that is running around in the internet. That, oh, self-love, self-love. No, we're talking about when you love yourself physically, mentally. And if you love yourself, it doesn't then mean that you have to overdress to show other people that you love yourself. Just love yourself. Be happy with who you are. If you are tall, bless God for you. If you are on the other side of the spectrum, it's also okay. And if you are a bold, you know, I have some big, bold and beautiful ladies that even if you see them, you want to be big, bold and beautiful. So love yourself. Take yourself for who you are. Don't wish to have what you don't have. Don't wish to be taller if you are on the other side of the spectrum. So as a woman, you need to love yourself. Another thing is that a strong woman will always know how to navigate her way. I said it, you need to have strong support system. How do you let how do you make your strong support system work? You need to have those navigating skills. And every woman really has it. We all have it. It's just that sometimes our emotions don't let us bring it out very well. But if you are that kind of a woman that you don't use that your navigating skills very well, you need to start learning how to you know learning how to use it with people because you're going to meet the good the bad the ugly and i always say there is no bad person everybody have what they bring to the table it only depends on how you talk to them how you treat them and how you navigate your way that's a very strong skill that every woman needs to continually put out there and you should know that as a strong woman you always need to sacrifice i mean when you come to the table the family your children your husband 
you as the woman is most likely to sacrifice more and you should always be ready to do that you should be always you always be ready to sacrifice and if you sacrifice one thing don't always think that that's the best thing that can come as i always say the best is yet to come if you sacrifice a job to be with your husband another job will come it might not come in your own time but it's always something and always look at that thing that um sorry always look at what you can hold on to but as a woman don't always be the strongest person on the table always be ready to sacrifice be ready to sacrifice that's another characteristic of a strong woman a strong woman always embrace every season of our life and as a woman we just need to start embracing all the seasons of our lives the season to be born there's a season to die there's a season to end there's a season to to give back there's a season to serve there's a season to earn money so as a woman we should always embrace every season when you are nursing your baby don't feel like being in the boardroom and don't think you are missing out something because there's going to be a time that will come and that's a personal testimony to me there was there were times that i always feel oh it's just about my children my children even though i found other way to make myself happy but i want to do more and then somebody spoke to me in church one day and said esther what you're doing is just a good thing you're doing staying back to take care of your children and looking for flexible job here and there because someday your kids are going to grow up and this time that you are spending with them will not be there but you can always make more money and that was a turning point for me that okay i can always make more money i can always study more i can always get better but the life of the children the, the time you lose out you've lost it you know so always find time to enjoy every season as a single mom as a single girl as a you know whatever level of a woman who you, are, you find yourself always enjoy those seasons because there's always time to fill up that's another concept and the last but not the least is try and have strong opinions yeah some people might come across you might come across to some people to be too op opinionated but it's good to have your own opinions so when they are talking about something always have opinion everybody must not agree with what you think it is but always have your own opinion and always be ready to respect people's opinion that's another strong characteristics of a strong woman or rather another skill that you need to bring forth as a woman try and have opinion and finally in the workplace always have opinion when they are discussing things don't say oh i concur to everything always have a it could be contrary opinion but just always have opinion oh needless to forget stop using your sex or your femininity as as um, as an excuse so if you if you are paid to do a particular job don't say oh it's because i've a woman i cannot do it when you are paid to do a job do it well let's stop using our, our femininity as an excuse i believe this point of mine i've been able to convince you but not to confuse you that a strong woman needs all these skills that i've enumerated i'm doing this and because of the women's the women week and shout out to every woman that is doing everything possible to support our family doing everything possible to make sure that they bring something to the table you are the real vip i pray for strength for you and i pray for on endless grace for you so like come your way next time it's your girl esther a big thank you to those that are subscribed to this YouTube channel if you have not what are you waiting for come along there's so much more to learn it's your girl esther i love you all bye bye